man, you know, I would get certain looks about it, but you know, it wouldn't really get that much attention, you know. But it it was the reverse, like it was the reverse, and I like hit somebody randomly, and you know, the cops don't come and LUPD PD don't come and like, whoa, so you can't do anything I'm saying, like, right. you know, there's certain things that receive more attention depending on gender, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, I think, um, you know, me and Al kind of talked about this. Um, he actually sent me, because when we did, uh, when we did, when we were getting ready to, um, you know, come up with this topic, you know, we kind of went through, we made a little survey about, uh, you know, which questions people wanted to talk about. And this is one of the more popular ones. And um, when, when we were talking about it, I'm asking people about, you know, is there a, double standard between men and women, the first, the first thing that most people kept talking about, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna say it and then y'all can chime in, is um is sex. Is sex. Like um for instance, I'll pull uh I'm gonna pull this up and I'm gonna read this to y'all and you tell me what you think. Alan um actually sent this to me this morning. And I thought it was kind of interesting. Um, I can go ahead and get this thing going. No, I don't know if you put it on Instagram. I haven't checked it yet, but I'm gonna just go in my text. And it says it's a it's a woman, and you know the dude is the guy she's talking to is like Japanese. That's why she calls him master. You know, so she goes, master. Why is it that when a man has sex with many women? He's considered a champion, but when a woman has sex with many men, she's considered a whore. And the and the and the sensei in this aspect replies. He goes, "Listen well, my child. A key that has the ability to open many locks is a master key. A lock that can be opened with any key is useless." <laughs> now y'all, somebody go ahead and shout me. And that, and and, and y'all go ahead and chime in. But that is that is that clearly is a parody. But that's based off of an underlying truth, you know, uh, of of what how we think. So what do y'all? I mean, what's up? <laughs> But it is a man who is big of a deal as a woman. Yes. Why? Why you say yes? Who said yes? I mean, a female doesn't want to be the man who been with a hundred females and a uh, man don't want to be with female who's been with a hundred men so well for me I, I guess or well, for me then how I think of it I'm, I'm I said yes being a female oh, look at Kim Kardashian <laughs> Oh, no, no, and you would you would date Kim Kardashian? Would you call him doing it? You just said no man wants. But they were made. <laughs> but Kim didn't have. She just she just got exploited for having sex. She didn't have sex with a whole bunch of men. Well, that we know of. <laughs> <laughs> Because some females, <laughs> it, I mean, some females, they can sleep around with a lot of men, and they can, in their head, they can think nothing wrong with it, because they can think they, they really like that guy, and they think in sex, this is a part that comes with it. I think a hoe is a female who, like, having sex with a whole bunch of men, and don't give, it don't care about it, or taking money for but it. But you said a female. Who not having, who not catching feelings while having sex. They just want to have sex, because they like to have sex. You said a female that has sex with a man is a hoe. Why can't a man that has sex with a lot of women be a hoe, too? He can't. That's what I said. I said that the first time because he said, "Do you think a man hoe just works a female hoe?" I said, "Yes." They about the same. That's what I said. Yeah, it's the same thing. I mean, for me anyway. How I think about it. 
I just feel about the situation. You both can carry STDs, right? So it's both equally as bad. Is that point blank period? You shouldn't want to be a hoe. You shouldn't want to sleep around so many people knowing that you can catch something that you can't get rid of. Like, it's same as a fact. Point blank period. It's both equally bad. I mean, even if you wrap it up, you still can be a hoe. Like, it doesn't matter. Because like, I know a lot of people who keep it safe, but they're still considered a hoe. It doesn't matter. I just think you're a hoe if you sleep with many people. That's just what it is. What, oh, tell me, were you the one telling me about the study of uh, goldfish or, or seahorses? They found that, like, if uh, seahorses, yeah, if, if, if a male seahorse had had sex with more women, the females are more likely to go to that male than the females had sex with a lot of seahorses, Okay, that attracts those female and, 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 and yeah, piggyback piggyback right off what you just said. They actually they did the same they did it they would they did the same experiment um with with goldfish. And they had two they had two men goldfish and one lady goldfish. And they the two men goldfish, you know, however they did it, they went and got them, they looked exactly alike. There was nothing. There was nothing differentiating them, and they wanted to see which, which male would the go the lady goldfish have babies with. So what they did was they went and put other female goldfish in the tank and kept her, you know, away where she could just look. And which, whichever man that they and they did this multiple times, whichever man had the most women goldfish around him. That's the one that she went to go have sex with, which sounds retarded. It sounds retarded, but it was it was it was saying that it was talking about basic instincts, like saying like how if you can't tell the difference, like if it's a bunch of females around a dude, <coughs> that means that he must have something. Like even if you can't visibly see it, there must be something about that guy that is. Uh, Exactly. <laughs> okay, but okay, but in the same it's sense, yeah, in, like in, the same sense <laughs> in the same sense, in the same sense, y'all talking about seahorses and goldfish. Okay, we are human beings. Okay, dogs <laughs> sniff each other butts. We don't sniff each other. What? That they have wouldn't be applied to our lifestyles. But think about I don't this. know no seahorses with STDs. No, no, but think about this. Think about, think about like uh, music videos, for example. Why do you think they put so many bad bitches in a video? Okay. I mean, it's 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 psychology. Can I, can I tell you one thing? Oh, uh, I remember when uh, when I went I went to Philadelphia about last year sometime. And we were discussing music uh, with my management team up there. And we were talking about uh, talking about a music video. And anyway, they was like, Ty, we got to put all these girls. We got to put all these girls in the video, all these girls. And I'm like, you know, what if I just want to have one girl? No, we got to put all these girls. We got to put all these girls. And the marketing team, I was like, I was talking to my marketing team. I was like, why are we putting all these girls? We're going to put all these girls in the video. They were like, Ty, because if a bunch of girls are around you, even if people don't think you're attractive at first, when they see a bunch of, it's psychology. When they see a bunch of girls around you, they're going to think you're attractive, which is going to make you sell more records. And that's, that's where the whole thing is coming from. But if that was a female, would that make a female more attractive? Mm -hmm. If we saw, we saw a bunch of But it's still 50-50, though. Like like some females can see a man that have a whole bunch of females around him and still be turned off. Like, so it goes, it depends on the person. I don't want it at all. Females and men. That's true. Yeah, that's males, true. males don't look at the new body like that. Like a female can see. That's that's a double standard that they get. A female can look at another female like he got a nice butt. Well, if I look at you, I'm not even gonna hypothetically see it. And they'll be like, yo, something's wrong with Donnie. Right. Right. But yeah, everybody looks at the female body like like Anaconda, like to me, Nicki Minaj is trash. But a lot of people watch that video on mute. Yes, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Standard. You think it's um? You think it's necessary? Or you think it's man-made? I think it's man-made. It's, it's, man it's the word. Like if, if it wasn't a label for somebody who slept around, I think females would do it. If you couldn't, if you had no label to call them, I think they would do it. Who do you think perpetuates that more, men or women? Use a different word. We in college, bro. I just got a class. I don't <laughs> Uh, who, who, um, who brings it up the most? Oh, okay, Let's say okay. that. All right. <laughs> I, say, I think women box themselves. I think both. I think some females created for themselves. Like there's a lot of females who call other females hoes, and they be doing hoes stuff too. And it's like people don't be seeing the whole thing. You know, like only person I probably call a hoes if she taught somebody who got a boyfriend. If somebody want to have sex with a bunch of people, that's nobody's business unless you're about to have sex with that person. And that's the only thing. <laughs> like, I don't think people should worry about who's having sex with who. What about what about what about as far as like uh, infidelity, like cheating? Cheating? Why is, oh. Yeah, like, like. And I would probably call it that. No, I'm saying like you know how you know like uh, if a if a dude cheats on a girl, it's okay. She might not necessarily. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. It's okay for a guy to have his little side chick and stuff like that, but if a girl have her side piece, the dude gonna get mad. But he's been here messing with things. Mm -hmm. Actually, Sarah and them, but she can't talk to who she wanna talk to. You think that's right? No, that's not right, but people do it. Well, there's no such thing as right and wrong. It's like that's perspective. Like, like some, other, some other cultures have like 20 something wives. We just can't call them hoes. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying. Okay, now how you know that's not somebody's culture? <laughs> Nobody says that's not the first thing you ask somebody when you meet them. <laughs> but I've never seen a culture where a woman had more than one husband. I always seen a husband with more than one partner. Why is that? I don't know. That's not my culture. <laughs> <laughs> you like this. It's usually based off the A woman can not handle ways. Hey, yes it is. Usually, if you look at the Quran, the Bible, usually they put men first before anything else. Yeah. They usually do. So you follow things that are given by your religion. It gives you a basis. That's true. I'm just agreeing to disagree. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just, just like, basically, it's like, <laughs> when you look at history, it's like men have always been at the top. And so women try to get higher than them. Men, for some reason, and it's like because they want to feel more empowered. Because exactly. We as men don't empower our women <laughs> because we want to just do whatever we want to do, sleep around with all these females. Because your homeboys just say, "Oh, yo, you got mad females. You got the juice, or whatever." Like, we as men. What I see day after day, like we empower each other to like sleep around with other women because we think it's cool. But it's like that's mad always though. And I don't know, I don't understand that. There's also like a double standard for like females. Oh, there's always oh. Like, okay, let's say if let's say if there's a woman in a position of, of power, like let's say if she's like the you know, like sometimes. But that's the thing. That's the thing. You say, "How does it make y'all feel?" I would be proud because it's like, no. The, the think about it. It's like, okay. It's like, it's like, okay. He had sex with me and uh, and, and y'all girls, right? But who was he bringing home the car? <laughs> Who is he bringing home the car? Don't no, 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 Yeah, 
just because they did such and such us. Look who we bring home to our mom. <laughs> to our daddy. Or to our daddy. It, especially, especially to our daddy. It would just it would be just as bad if y'all had to pursue us. Like I said, it's like training for that race. Y'all don't have to train. Y'all are the finisher. We're the ones racing. We're coming after y'all. Mm -hmm. So when we come after somebody, actually when anybody goes after anything, a goal, a dream, whatever the case may be, it's because we see value in that thing. We feel like uh, there's something special about us, or we put in uh, enough work, we paid our due diligence, whatever the case may be, to be deserving of that thing, right? So to get there, and and most guys, we, uh, some guys, we get there, and then be shot down like, oh, you got a PhD for this job, this high school dropout got the same job you got. That's what it feels like. You know, the presence, the dates, who's paying? We are. You feel what I'm saying? Gas money? Gas you want to pin on your girl. But I got to speak to that. I got a question. I got a question. She got a question. Ask your question. Ask your question. Ask your question. No, I just, I just like to talk. Like, I ain't gonna flex. I like to talk. But um, with the whole um, pursuing thing, how do men really feel about a female pursuing him? Not as in like, just a sex thing, but as in like, you know, man, female. If you if, like a female really wants to date a man, how do y'all feel about that? Like a female pursuing y'all. Yeah. That, like, that's a good question. Ty, you want to answer that? I want to answer that. You know, right, let's well, and <laughs> and. I think that it just depends how it's done. You know what I'm saying? It just depends how it's done. Like, you overdo it, then I kind of be like, damn, I'm like, you overdoing it. You thirsty or something you know, like that? That's well, the first thing I, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say thirsty per se. I'm just kind of like, uh, but if you show, but, but sometimes, sometimes, but you gotta show me, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, if you just showing signs of attraction, like that's cool because then i'm like that make it easier for me because then i'm like okay i see this this and this okay i can do this you know but if it's just too much then it's like basically the same way we are with y'all yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah it'll be okay it'll be okay if it was like uh coming from a place of admiration like i like what he stands for what he's about and you know he's a good guy rather than uh like i like what he stands for what he's about and you know he's a good guy rather than uh you know just here's the box, it's yours. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Right. Not in aspect like sex wise. There's someone Jim who wants to be with you or the Bernard. Yeah, but y'all, and another thing that I don't like, y'all's hints are too subtle sometimes. What you mean? Too subtle. Like, 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 okay, like, you might, for, for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That little side smack emoji, you can't put that out there. The little, 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 so she's that's in that, that, that might be what she's trying to give out for real. That's real. what I tell females, I'll be like, look, I'll tell them for the job, I'll be like, don't send me no wings, you don't mean that. That's what I'm saying, she should already know a man going to take it the other way, so. Don't send me no wings, you just love with that emoji. Yeah, it is so broad too, because you have some girls, the way they show you they like you is to be completely mean to you. You know, yeah, and some you. girls, yeah, some girls, it's like two different ends of the spectrum. We got the girl who's just an asshole to you, but she deep down likes you. I feel like so, that's for a younger thing. I feel like you just grow out of something. Some girls still have their Yeah, yeah. 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 No, she, she got that room, babe. She got that room. Oh, she heard us. Y'all go with it. I feel so weird now. She heard us. What was that? 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 No, sometimes, yeah, sometimes. <laughs> y'all do this. You didn't see that time I gave you a French fry. Yeah. Yeah. You just think it's an act of kindness, but it's actually a hint. And then they get mad when you don't recognize. Yeah, like that's our fault.